Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at Oakwood Theme Park, located in Pembrokeshire, Wales. We're looking forward to getting back on Megaphobia today, which is one of our favourite wonders in the country. It is indeed, and they've actually done a big refurbishment over winter, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. They spent a lot of money here at Oakwood on redoing lots of the track, they've replaced a lot of sections, and also reprofiled part of it as well, including the first drop, which will be great. It was much needed, so I'm so glad that they've done it. Yeah, so am I, because last year, when we came here we said how rough it was and yeah of course a wooden coaster you want it to be rough and ready but not too much and yeah megaphobia wasn't riding great last year so i'm so pleased the park have spent the money and uh, yeah i've got it up to top tier so i'm looking forward to getting back on there today because it is a great wooden coaster here in wales it's always worth the journey it takes about four hours 20 minutes for us to get down here it's a long drive but it's always worth it when megaphobia is running wild it is it was an early start for us this morning <laughs> it was along with that we bring you all the latest updates there's lots going on here at oakwood at the moment so we'll talk all about that in the vlog and also as well uh, we'll get back on speed which is a fantastic Gerstai Eurofighter and all of our other favourite rides here at Oakwood. It's also free parking here at Oakwood and yeah they've got quite a large car park just out the front of the very colourful entrance just here too. So yeah let's go and make our way into the park. We'd also just like to say thank you to Oakwood for providing us with our mission today. And we've just made our way into the park and yeah to head down to the main part of the theme park itself you can walk which takes about five minutes or you can get on the train just here too. Nice little scenic ride down to the main part of the park. Oh and here's a look at the iconic Megaphobia sign Thrills Beyond Fear and yeah really excited to experience this and of course we'll be able to take you all along as well thanks to the park. Now also Oakwood's open tonight till 10pm for their after dark event and yeah that happens on Wednesdays and Saturdays throughout summer. Check out the website for details and yeah we've got fireworks tonight and also the light show which will be brilliant. It's always great in summer here. Wow, look at this. The first drop completely rebuilt and reprofiled on Megaphobia. The ride opened here at Oakwood in 1996, manufactured by Custom Coasters International. And the park have actually brought in the Gravity Group to come and do this retracking work. And not just retracking, a complete replacement of some sections, like we can see here from the first drop. And yeah, if I zoom in a little bit for you, you can see how it's been reprofiled. It's actually a little bit steeper now than it was before. Yeah, great to see. And yeah, this work was definitely needed. Uh, it's always been a great ride. However, last year it was really rough in some areas. Was, so I'm so glad that they've done the work. I'm looking forward to seeing that ride. Yeah, definitely. Really excited. So I'm give this a go. Refurbished at Megaphobia here at Oakwood Theme Park.
And here we go, climbing up the lift hill. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad that the track work's been done. Oh, definitely. It needs to be done. It rides so much better now um, than it did previously. And uh, yeah, that's the thing with the Gravity Group. They're really good when it comes to refurbishing all the rides. This really needed it. And uh, it's riding great now, as you can see. And this rider camp POV, we're on the back, bro. Megaphobia thrills beyond fear. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Do we get some good air time on this drop of the back, Charlotte? Here we go. Hey. just there oh blimey i tell you what that is riding so well oh, now that isn't is it absolutely brilliant oh the airtime on there is brilliant now it really is and yeah the first drop is phenomenal especially if you're at the back you really whipped down that first drop and of course love the newer parts on there uh, such as the double up and the double down that there is on there before there were standard drops and inclines so it's nice how they've added a bit more airtime in there done such a good job i'm so happy it's been done and you also come really fast into the station <laughs> at the end <laughs> Megaphobia really is the jewel in the crown at Oakwood and I am so pleased that they spent the money on that because it was riding fantastic, wasn't it? Oh, it was riding so much better than last year. I'm so glad the park have done the work to it. It's got a brilliant layout on there. Some great drops, some airtime, some lateral forces. I've always really liked the location as well. Right next to the lake here and with all the trees. That's what makes Oakwood. It is the location. And yeah, it's an epic wooden roller coaster. And I'm so pleased that it's back up there now as my favourite Woody in the UK. Last year it really wasn't, especially at the bottom of the first drop there was a massive jolt wasn't it was there very shaky oh, last year it was and yeah of course i'm so pleased that money's been spent the work's been done and that's what gravity group are great at in my opinion refurbishing all the wooden coasters and giving them a new lease of life granted i don't really like gravity group's new trains the timber liners so i wouldn't like to see them come on here i do prefer the uh, ptc trains that it's still running now and hopefully it continues to keep those it's just running one trade at the moment however hopefully megaphobia will be back on two at some point in the future it's actually quite busy, isn't it? Yeah, the queue is quite long. Yeah, about 30 minutes if you're in all the snaky area. But uh, they've actually uh, chopped a few trees down there to free up uh, the queue line a little bit so you can see it more when you walk around the corner. It was always a bit of a mystery before going around and not knowing how long the queue is. But you can see it a lot better now from when you enter it. Uh, but no, Megaphobia, riding great, brilliant coaster, and it warms up throughout the day. We'll definitely get on there again later. But no, really enjoyed it. Big well done to Oakwood for spending the money on this. Uh, £2 million pound well spent. What would you oh, say? Much needed. It. Brilliant oh. Woody, it really is. Oh, and looking over towards Megaphobia again from this side of the lake. And yeah, they've cleared a few trees here, which has opened up the view, which is fantastic. It means you can see it a lot better from this angle. Brilliant to see. <laughs> up next then, we're making our way over to the park's Gerstler Eurofighter. It's speed no limits just here. This is a great ride, it's very intense. Love the roar it makes when it's going round. Now Speed opened here at Oakwood in 2006 and since then it's had the same colour scheme which of course has been the kind of dark green supports and the orange track. However the park are changing that. As we can see they've started to repaint it here with black at the bottom and yeah they're going to work up these supports. They've already done in the area by the big helix over here. And that looks great, it really does. I love 
the force coming around that helix. Always look forward to getting back on this. How nice are them supports look? That looks absolutely fantastic. It looks so much better black. And as you're going to see throughout this vlog, this is not just the only refurbishment project going on. They've also got a few other projects happening over the other side of the park, which we'll certainly go and check out. But yeah, it's a really good ride, this. It's a little bit on the short side, but you know what? It's my favourite Eurofighter in the UK. I think it's brilliant. Massive first drop, and also along with that, the intensity um, of that airtime hill, proper ejector, and then of course the helix down here as well is brilliant. But so uh, yeah, two inversions on here. Let's go and ride on speed. And here we go, climbing up on speed. So yeah, it's much slower, this one, than some of the newer Kirstar models. But in a way, that adds to the anticipation of yeah, the ride. It takes so long. <laughs> As we're climbing up just here. And of course, when you get to the top, you get a great view looking over the Welsh countryside. There we are, coming up the vertical lift hill. And not the easiest one to film on a wrist strap, this. I can imagine. <laughs> Charlie's got her eyes closed. It's because it's so bright. It is quite bright, uh, you know. <laughs> it does. Like yeah, just relaxing here on the vertical lift. If you turn your head to the right, you get a nice view of megaphobia just over there, actually. But here we go. Let's see how this turns out. It's quite a vicious ride. It's not really rough, but it's quite vicious. It's intense. It's speed. But here we go. And that is aggressive. What I love about it is the airtime, the hang time, uh, how forceful it is. I really enjoy that coaster. Charlotte here, not as much. I have a love-hate relationship with this ride. I absolutely love the first drop, but the rest of the layout, I just find it really too intense. <laughs> it's very forceful, it's not for everyone, but I do like how it builds up the anticipation. Uh, you climb up that vertical lift hill so slow, don't you? You go up there so slow, it seems to take forever to get to the top. I think that's the thing.
thing now we're used to girl star coasters and other manufacturers doing much faster vertical lifts whereas with this it goes up slow but in my opinion that adds to it you actually go over the top really slow too just crawling over and then you see that view of the beautiful welsh countryside and then you down that beyond vertical drop which is fantastic at the bottom it's really forceful and then into my favorite part of the ride which is that massive ejector air time hill yeah, like, time on oh. there is great but i just find it so <laughs> intense i'm just really not a fan you go into that turn around into the loop which is great straight up of course um into the zero g roll and then yeah down into the intense helix at the end of the ride which is a brilliant finale it's on the short side but you know what it packs a punch i really do like its speed um and yeah it's just a great ride here at oakwood it's well worth coming to this part to ride megaphobia and speed just listen to the sound of it oh i love it aggressive that's the word that describes it brilliant that is They've also got some great pictures here of Speed under construction. And yeah, you can see how fresh it looked when it first opened. So I'm really pleased they're giving it a repaint. And yeah, not too sure if the track colour is going to be changing or getting repainted. But fingers crossed it will do. Um, because yeah, it'll look nice and fresh again then. And it's good to see them giving it a new colour scheme with the black supports too. We're going for a journey into the trees now here on the treetops coaster at Oakwood. Beautiful location for this, literally in the trees, hence the name down here. Yeah, it's just a standard Zero Tivoli, but it does make it with the location on this one. It's a good fun ride. love riding treetops. I like how you sit in the little log train on there. I absolutely love treetops, but I'm so sad you only get one lap now when you used to get two. Oh, it used to be nice, didn't it, going around twice yeah, on there? Yeah, you can just go around again. You can do, but it was nice without leaving your seat, wasn't I it, know, before? I love treetops. <laughs> such a good ride going through all the trees it really makes it yeah even though it's the standard layout again it's the location it what makes it that makes it. it's brilliant yeah it's a lovely location here at oakwood and here you got waterfall just over there that is one of the most terrifying rides in the uk and if you've never seen a vlog from here before you'll find out later because i will be going on waterfall so stay tuned for that coming up well let's just hope i don't get a wipeout. i know that's really what, what you want to see though but we'll see what happens right next door though here you've got bounce this was refurbished a couple of years ago and yeah it's nice to see this back in action built by Huss and yeah this is a shot and drop tower it's a combi together and yeah that's the thing with Oakwood they've really been refurbishing a lot of rides these past few years uh, which is good to see and yet yeah, the other end of the park that development continues as we'll see later on but uh, yes yeah, we're gonna have a bounce Charlotte yes, let's go bouncy bouncy here in Wales summer 2023 let's go and ride <laughs> We've just had our ride there on Bounce, waited about 20 minutes, and I'm really pleased that they refurbished that a couple of years ago and didn't remove it from the park, um, because yeah, it was closed for a few years. I'm so pleased they did that work, because it is a good ride, it's great fun, and it's unique as well. Oh, I absolutely love it. And when it's quiet, you get the shot, 
and the drop, so we managed to get both. My belly always goes on the drop. <laughs> yeah, we timed it well there because it's built up a bit of a queue now. Uh, they're only going to run one of those. What they do for a little bit of fun as well, they say that the restraints have actually got uh, heat sensors on there, so you vote whether you want to do um, the launch up or the drop down first. Just a nice little bit of it's fun thing what they add on there. It? You know, everybody, uh, you know, holding they're on all pressing uh, for on each one. Which one, the one. Yeah, it's good fun, but uh, no, it's a nice little ride that is. Some great views from up there too, over on Bounce. And it's not really intense, but it's great fun when you're bouncing up and down on there. So yeah, it's always good to have a ride on it. Right next door, you've got the four dinghy slides just here too. Cobra, Python, which are the two tube ones at either side. And you've got the ones in the middle just there too. God, they came quite a long way, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, a good fun little ride they've got down here. And yeah, it's nice how they've got four of those for capacity as well. We've also got quite a few flat rides here at Oakwood Theme Park too, including this pirate ship that you've just seen, and also Dizzy Disc, just over here. I've always loved this view here at Oakwood, and yeah, you can see all the lighting and speakers in place for that show tonight that we're really looking forward to. It's always one of the highlights of summer here in the UK. Coming down here to Oakwood, riding Megaphobia, especially this year after its retrack, and also watching the fireworks. So yeah, the fireworks are set off just to the left here, and of course they light up the coasters, and yeah, all this whole lawn turns into this amazing party atmosphere. They also have Colour Fest, which is like the UV paint party, and then yeah, the show that they put on, with a beautiful themed score, which is great. It's not just all the pop music, it's a fully themed show uh, that fits in really nice here with the park. So we've got that coming up later. Oakwood has also got a really fun bobsleigh ride here. It does get quite busy. Of course, they're not the highest capacity these, so I recommend getting on there on the morning. And yeah, that's what we did, went straight on it. And uh, yeah, you can see the queue just here now. It's already built up quite a bit. Even if it's only full to where it is there, it can take 20, 25 minutes, and it does go all the way back. So yeah, that could be up to an hour for the bobsleigh. So yeah, you're worth uh, getting on that as soon as you arrive at the park. People love the bobsleigh. It's such a classic, isn't it? It's a nice ride. Yeah. I do like it. Again, it's a little bit on the short side but it is good fun you just want to make sure you haven't got somebody going really slow like that just in front of you you want to be going down at a good pace the good thing is though they've got a member of staff at the top and they will hold you and let other people clear won't yeah, they which is really good if you've got someone going really slow in front of you they'll hold you a little bit <laughs> yeah because you want to be coming down fast yeah, don't you, you do. especially if you've uh, waited quite some time and then of course yeah do your braking down here not too last minute um uh, be a break just down on that bottom corner but yeah good little ride bob slow we're making our way now into the Neverland themed area. And yeah, this is the best themed area in the park. With all the nice buildings. And yeah, you've got quite a lot of rides around here. Some smaller rides, some tracked rides. There's a coaster and a log flume down here too. And yeah, it's a nice little walk through attraction over here on the right, hopefully. Oh, is it still, oh, it was closed last year. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I remember saying last year, you know, it's a shame that that's closed. It'd be nice to see it back open again. Like, you walk through it, all these different scenes. Yeah, shame that's not been sorted out. One of my favourites in the Neverland area is Tink's Flying School. And there's Tinkerbell there in the middle. And yeah, what's cool about these is you control how much you kind of turn around on there. So yeah, you've got the lever in the middle, and then like the sail, and you can turn it, and that depends how much you spin round. Yeah, it's a really good fun ride. And a look there at School Rock, which is the flume ride just here. One drop special. Yeah, you make your way around into a bit of a show scene inside. Come down the drop and then end up just out here. And there you got the little coaster just behind it over there too, the little crocodile coaster. It used to be at Camelot theme park and so did this flume ride. Who remembers going to Camelot back in the day? Oh, I had many happy memories going there when I was a kid. It was a great themed park. That's the great thing with Oakwood. You managed to save a few rides from Camelot purchased them and brought them here to Wales. So I'm glad they stayed in the UK. Oh, nice fun little family coaster here in the area. And yeah, you've got Neverland Chase just over here, which is one of the tracked rides that you've got. You've got this and also the London taxis all in this themed area. Nice little plane ride over there as well for the kids. Yeah, you've got quite a lot of rides in this area. 
And yeah, there's some little bits of theming on this, not loads. Got some big toadstools over here. Charlotte's in that one up ahead. <laughs> the best theme is the actual vehicles themselves. I do like them. Little play area in the middle. And we've got loads of room for expansion here at Oakwood. That's what I'd love to see in the future, some more expansion here. It's actually a lot busier today than I've seen it for quite a few years, which is good. Yeah, they've actually got a ticket deal on at the moment, four tickets for £80, which is a good deal, like £20 per person. And yeah, four adults could come as well. It's not just like two adults and two kids. So yeah, it's nice to see, and that is attracting more people in. You can tell, look at the crowd levels today. It's a bit busier than it has been on previous visits. Oh, got to watch out for the lion. <laughs> Speed in the background over there too. All the little teepees just here. On a nice summer evening, you camp out in one of those. That's a fun little ride that. However, my favourite out of the two track rides is definitely the taxis that we're going on now. We like these, don't we, Charlotte? They are so fast, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Oakwood theme park sign. And yeah, you've got the police public call box here. Is there a TARDIS in there? I'm not too sure. Any Doctor Who fans out there? Oh, I used to love Doctor Who. <laughs> here we go, it's going to have a ride on these. Yeah, some nice props on this one. Tower of London just there. Wait about five minutes and here we go on the taxis. Ready for a launch, Charlotte? Yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, hey! <laughs> yeah, pretty fast these, don't they? I like these. Yeah, I like it. It's good fun. <laughs> We're squeezed in the same one because it's got a little bit of a queue. Normally we have our own, but we haven't got much room, have we, Charlotte? We've proper squeezed yeah. in. <laughs> Big Ben? Tower of London, close up just there. And I'm going to drive you past Nelson's Column. Thank you very much. Nice trip to Trafalgar Square. You do get a couple of laps around on this one, which is good. Oh. <laughs> this is definitely the best out of the two. I, like I think because it's a bit faster and you're higher up as well, which is nice. Got a small little pirate ship just over there too. Those of you that don't want to go on the bigger one. London taxis. Oh my God, Charlotte, your driving's awful. You're right. on the meter, you're uh, on the meter. Why, how much did it cost me so far? £1,075. What, just for a taxi journey? Yeah, it's gone up again now. I've already gone from Big Ben to the Tower of London. It's gone up to 2000 now. That's a lot, that. That's why I'm driving fast to get you on. Oh my God, that is literally how much it is for a London taxi, I think, as well, <laughs> black cab. I'd rather use the tube. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I'm taking a taxi around London there. So your final cost was £3,299.74. I'm not paying it, I'm going. You. See you later. <laughs> the size of London tour. So we've had a nice little stroll there around the Neverland area, done a few rides, and yeah, I do like that themed area of Oakwoods. And yeah, just over here, of course, you got the Sky Coaster. Yeah, so this is an upcharge attraction. It's called Vertigo. And yeah, I've done this a few times over the years. It is good fun. It's located up here um, by the entrance to the park. And of course, yeah, up to three people at once. You can go on your own if you want, as a two or as a three. And then, yeah, of course, you pull the cord uh, when you get the all clear and when you feel comfortable to. And yeah, you come all the way down here. Let's uh, see how long it takes for them to pull the cord. Oh, straight on. Hey, on Vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good crowd, please. Everybody enjoys watching it. Yeah, as much as I'm not really a fan of upcharge attractions, this is one that's been here for a long time at Oakwood. And a lot of people do like it. And it is a crowd pleaser. <laughs> Oh, do you remember when we went on it, Charlotte? Oh my god, I was absolutely terrified when we did it. It was so scary. <laughs> it is good fun though. Like it's just pulling that uh, that rope. I that's remember, the hard bit. I was bit. like, Sean, do not pull it. Do not pull it. And he pulled it. <laughs> and you've got to three, two, one, fly. Now, as I mentioned back at the start of the video, there's lots of projects ongoing at the moment here at Oakwood Theme Park, which is good to see. A lot of those being refurbishment projects. However, this looks like it's going to be something brand new coming in. As you can see, right next door to Vertigo, there's a massive area all walled off, and it says Future Development Area. And I like how you've got the park mascot on here, and he's got his eye hat on just up there. See how about that? Construction pad. He has. There we go. He's got his JCB digger just there, and he's ready to start building. Not too sure what's going to be coming in but it's quite a big space in terms of what was here before it was literally just a small mini golf course so yeah hopefully we're going to be seeing a new ride or a couple of new rides or a new area or something along them lines coming in here yeah it'd be good to see it's been a while since we've had anything brand new here at oakwood so uh, fingers crossed for that one now normally a summer visit to oakwood will mean getting absolutely soaked 
over here on Drenched. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, it is still closed at the moment. Hopefully, it'll be back open again soon. Uh, probably going to be 2024 now before this is in operation again. Um, but yeah, I do like this. It's got a ridiculously steep drop, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, you head down into a massive splash and you do get absolutely soaked. But uh, yeah, it's closed this summer, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed we'll be back open again next year. I tell you what, it's quite a large area what they've put in down here with all the construction fence. So yeah, I am looking forward to seeing what happens in that future development area. We're making our way now down into Spooky Street, which is the final part of the park for us to see. And yeah, you've got the roller coaster just down here with the big pumpkin entrance. Along with that, you've got a small little spinning ride and also a dark ride. And again, that's having a huge overhaul and we'll be back in 2024. So we'll have a look at that whilst we're down here on Spooky Street. Yeah, we'll start off with that ride here on the creepy crawler. Into the pumpkin you go, Charlotte. <laughs> what you got there? Come on. Hey. <laughs> We just had our ride there on Creepy Crawler, which is the Pinfari roller coaster that you can see there behind us. And yeah, it's not a bad little ride. You think it's going to be quite rough, but it's not too bad actually. It's not as bad as you think looking off right. Yeah, and when you get into the station, you see the train with the over the shoulder restraints, and you think, oh, here we go. Is it going to be really jolty? You're going to bash your head on there? And you don't actually. Really, it's an older ride though, so it doesn't need them over the shoulder restraints, because obviously it doesn't go upside down. Um, it's all right. It's one of the weaker rides at Oakwood, in my opinion, uh, but it's something else that has helped fill this area. Now another ride that's currently under refurbishment here at Oakwood is Spooky 3D and yeah as you can see they've completely torn down the facade. I believe inside they've took a lot of the theming out and this is being completely transformed for 2024 and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with this because it's actually one of my favourite rides at the park. It did have some pretty good scenes in there. Do you remember the one with the horn Charlotte? Oh, that got me every time. <laughs> with the it lights going so on. It's like a <laughs> as you went round the corner. Uh, and as you can see yeah they're doing some foundation work here, uh, replaced some of the building and yeah I reckon we're going to be seeing a brand new facade come onto the front of this just here. And yeah I look forward to seeing what they do with it. Yeah Spooky 3D. I'd imagine we're going to see a new name. Hopefully it's not going to be 3D anymore. You wore the glasses didn't you yeah, on there? I'd like to hope they've took that away because it didn't really add too much to it. Yeah I think it'd be nice to just have it fully immersive Alton really Manor guess. style you know with props and maybe some animatronics and whatever the budget can stretch to and that's the thing we know that Oakwood it's not a massive part they've not got loads of money coming in uh, they're owned by Aspro um, so yeah they don't get lots of investment however uh, I'm glad they're spending the money on these projects that we've shown you and this is the main one that I'm really looking forward to so yeah we'll have to come back in 2024 and come and see what uh, they've done to Spooky 3 day yeah quite a, a big building to play with really there Exciting. yeah definitely we'll see what happens oh big key for bobsleigh just over there and yeah that's the thing when you do have a couple of attractions closed it does mean um, that the other queues are going to get busier i mean i reckon that's about an hour for the bobsleigh the family fun slide just over there we're going to head for another ride now on megaphobia and yeah, hopefully it'll be warming up a bit now. That's a good thing with it being a longer day. We have a ride this evening when it's been running for like 10 hours and that'll be great. So yeah, it's about 30 minutes from this point we worked out earlier on. And that's a good thing now. Like I mentioned earlier on, chops a lot of these trees down now so you can see the queue line a lot better and also watch the ride going round more, which is fantastic. Well, we just had a back row ride on the newly retracked Megaphobia and that was the best ride I've had on there in a very long time. And I'll tell you what, they've done a brilliant Brilliant job. Like down there at the back, the ejector air time was amazing, wasn't it, Charlotte? Oh, that was riding so well. I really enjoyed it. On that first drop, you're going down there, literally, you are whacked up uh, into your restraints. And then, yeah, throughout the rest of the layout, there's moments of ejector air time, which is absolutely brilliant. But no, I really enjoy getting back on there. It really is my favourite wooden coaster in the UK. Really pleased to do the work. And if you come in here, get yourself down to the back, especially when it's been running. I mean, we're six hours into the day, it's been running for quite some time, and that was had lots of air time. Cannot wait to ride it later on and see how it is. Here we go then, up next it's time for Waterfall, one of the scariest rides oh, in the UK, because you never know 
if you're going to get a wipeout or not, where literally you end up getting soaked, you fall into the trough down here at the end. Them two girls did all right. I'm not intending on falling in today. Sometimes I have done on a warmer day. Uh, if I fall in this time, it won't be intentional. Just to say that. So we'll see what happens. I am not going on this. I've done it once and I was terrified. It is really scary. Right now. You know, because when you come down, they say lean forward. So you kind of skid across the top instead of kind of bashed into the sides or just tipping straight over. So we'll see what happens. Charlotte's going to get some footage to have me to experience waterfall here at Oakwood. So the time has come. We're going to see if Sean actually falls in. <laughs> he could get absolutely soaked. I've been watching people coming down and they have got absolutely drenched. Oh, here we go. Is he going to get a wipeout? Oh, Oh, he did it! Oh. He escaped! Oh! And that's what you don't want to happen on waterfall. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Still got it all these years later. I remember once having an ERS on there for about 30 minutes. I had loads of rides on there, probably about 15, 20 rides. And yeah, I managed to learn just about how to balance it. But it's one of them. It can depend on all sorts of factors of things. They tell you at the top to make sure you lean forward, hands on the front, and never let go. And that's what I did, and I bounced along the water. How about that? Oh, Charlotte? you did well there. <laughs> it was a bit warm, I would have intentionally fell in. You can do it, it's good fun, and I'm sure someone else will do it in a minute. But uh, look at this. It's like a spectator sport. Look at the crowds here. Everyone's loving it. Basically, there's about 100 people all around here, all watching it. Like everybody's sat on the benches, and that's what makes it good fun. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go and uh, head to the car. Just going to uh, go and check in now to the Bluestone Resort, which is located next door. We never stayed there before, have we? No, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're going to be covering that over on the Sandbrook Adventure. It's like a bit of a centre park style resort right next door to the park. So head over to our second channel, and you'll be able to join us for a vlog there. inside the park then now we're jumping on the train to take us back into the main park itself we're all checked in at our accommodation it's really nice up at bluestone literally a five minute drive around the corner so make sure you check out the vlog coming up over the sandbrook adventures let's go and get on oh, no, no. and yeah definitely busier than i've seen it in recent years on the overflow parking over there which is good to see yeah it just shows how much land they actually own here at oakwood all the fields over here, quite far away from the main part of the park. As much as its main purpose is acting as a transportation ride from the entrance down into the main park, you do get quite a nice long ride on here actually, especially if you get it from the entrance down into the park itself. A much shorter ride though if you go in from in the park back to the entrance at the end of your day. But yeah, it's nice that. Nice ride round there on the train here at Oakwood. Yeah, we're in the main gift shop now. Just thought I'd show you some of the merch. Got the mugs there, 10 pounds in orange and white. Cap just down there, 18 pounds. And for 20 pounds, you've got the beanie just there too. It is embroidered though, quite expensive, but yeah, they're embroidered, so better quality. Little bears just down here too. Some of the more generic Oakwood merchandise there. Quite nice. And then yeah, just over here, the Megaphobia area. Yeah, this is a great shirt. I like how it's actually a proper shirt, this one. £35, and yeah, you've got kind of the patch on there, which is nice. You see that a lot in the American theme parks, actually doing these patches. Hoodie just there for speed. Pin badges, uh, £5. £3 for the lanyards. And some of the clothing just down here too. Yeah, we're going to get some more re-rides in, and then shortly, it'll be time for After Dark celebrations to begin. We've just had another awesome ride over on Megaphobia. It keeps getting better throughout the day. And yeah, we've got the DJ on now. 
Building up the atmosphere, ready for tonight. Well, the atmosphere is really pumping tonight here at Oakwood Theme Park. After dark is always a brilliant time to come here. And look at this new lighting package over on Megaphobia. It looks absolutely awesome. And the best thing is all the smoke from the DJ set is raising over onto the water here. And look at that, it's making it very atmospheric, which is beautiful to see. Wow, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And it has warmed up so nice throughout the day as well. We've had five rides on there. Oh, and it's been brilliant. It's great to have this epic wooden coaster back in my top spot for the UK out of all the woodies. It's an excellent ride. And the work that the Gravity Group have done on there is phenomenal, it really is. Look at this, hundreds of people out here tonight making the most of it and enjoying Colour Fest. So you can buy the UV paints and then throw it up in the air and get absolutely covered. If you're down there at the front when they throw it up, you will be covered in pain. We've done it before in the past. It's great fun. And look at that with the backdrop right, of megaphobia all lit up. Fantastic. Three, <laughs> two, one. This is really when Oakwood comes alive. I love their after dark events. You gotta think, parts like Alton Towers closed four hours ago and we're still partying tonight till 10 o'clock here at Oakwood. Coming up next, it's time for the fireworks finale. Three, two, one.
display was absolutely fantastic there. All the music, the lighting, and of course the awesome backdrop of Megaphobia makes it a brilliant show. What an offering down here at Oakwood in the summer. Those fireworks were so good. I'm so happy that the park put them on on a Wednesday and Saturday. I think it's just brilliant. It's a brilliant event after dark, and it really comes alive. Because you come in in the morning, you can get your rides in, uh, take a bit more chilled out in the afternoon, and then the party vibe kicks in at night, which is great. And yeah, the firework display was awesome. I feel like that was the best fireworks I've ever done. They were absolutely fantastic. There were some massive ones in there and some fireworks that I've never seen before. Yeah, it was really nice that was. And the soundtrack custom made for the park is brilliant too. They've used the same one for a few years now, but I do really like that. And of course, really is a perfect end to your day here at Oakwood Theme Park. Of course, another huge highlight of today was Megaphobia. We had a night ride on there too, which was amazing, wasn't oh, it? it was absolutely brilliant. I've done such a good job. It's great to have that wooden roller coaster back operating on top form. It needed the money spending on it. They spent two and a half million pounds in the end to refurbish that ride. I'm so glad they did. It's the best wooden coaster in the UK, in my opinion. And you've got to come down here and give it a ride. Uh, we've had a really good day though, haven't we, at Oakwood today? Oh, really enjoyed it. We've got so much done. It's been fab. Yeah, it's actually been a bit busier than normal, but still, you know, we've got lots of rides in here. The queues other than the Bob say don't really get too long. That one does get busy, so head there early. In terms of speed, that was running two trains. Megaphobia is on one for this year, but I've been told for next year it should be back on two. And of course, lots of refurbishment projects to look forward to. What looks like a new area coming in uh, with some new rides. Along with that, Spooky 3D with its new upgrades coming next year. And of course, Drench reopening. Along with that, the repaint work that's happening um, over on Speed. Lots going on at Oakwood, and it's really nice to see investment going into the park. It is good to see investment. It's much needed. It's yeah, fantastic. it is indeed, and hopefully we'll continue to do that. I think for the past few years, this is what's really needed here, to go around, refresh the park, and it's got so much potential here. It's like standing here now with this wonderful music at the end, that epic firework display, the night ride on Megaphobia. It's just a really nice experience. It's a long drive for us down here, but it's more than worth it in the summer, and I definitely recommend doing it as well. But uh, thank you to the park for allowing us uh, to come in and film some POVs earlier on as well. We really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we've had a great day down here. I look forward to uh, seeing the new additions and upgrades to the park in 2024. Of course, if you haven't already, head over to the Sandbrook Adventures. And coming up in the next couple of days, we're going to have a vlog from the Bluestone Resort right next door. We're staying there tonight. We're going to be checking it out, seeing the facilities and taking you along. So that's coming up over on our second channel, the Sandbrook Adventures. But here from Oakwood Theme Park, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next video.